Freemasons in Athens, Georgia, call the Blue Lodge off Research Drive their home. Michael Law, the worshipful master or president of the group, speaks with us about the lodge in its history. Well, this is what we call the Blue Lodge, um, which is the first three degrees in Freemasonry. This lodge has been several different numbers. Like I said, we were in and then out of the Grand Lodge. Um, our board, there's a board out there that lists all of our past masters, and it goes back to 1819, which is when we think that this lodge was, was founded. We don't think that there was one in Athens before then. We survived the Civil War. Our current number we got when the Grand Lodge was chartered in 1841 in Georgia. The Grand Lodge is in Macon, by the way. Law gave us a tour of the lodge. He took us first into the Tyler's room. There we saw pieces of history, ritual, and symbolism. The real Tyler sword. Um, there's an officer of the lodge who is assigned to um, to guard the lodge to keep intruders from coming. You know, symbolically. Um, uh, anyway, and he's he's supposed to sit here and, and carry that sword. Uh, and this is just a tapestry. Okay. Um, uh, east and west. The the master sits in the west. The senior okay. wardens. I mean, uh, sorry, the, the master sits in okay. the east and the senior warden sits in the west, and they sort of, you know, they, they represent the arc of time. And the square encompasses, of course, our, our symbol. Um, the plumb, the square, and the level are the emblems of the, of the top three officers. The G is a major symbol for the Masons. It was located on the tapestry. The G can also be seen on the ring every mason wears. The G, um, the, the only thing that I will tell you is that it's open to interpretation. Okay. Um, it means a lot of things to a lot of different people, and we don't really prescribe what it means to uh, even our, our own members, mm -hmm. our own masters. Um, we tell them it's open to interpretation. We then made our way into the main lodge room where most of their work takes place. Uh, all lodges are, at least symbolically, if not... Um, if not physically, we have kind of shoddy evidence to go on, but uh, symbolically, if not physically, replicas of, of King Solomon's temple in Israel. Okay. Okay. Um, and the idea is that Solomon is the first master of a lodge. Law also showed us the lodge's kitchen where they make food for their various fundraisers and events. Their next event is a 5K in Winterville, Georgia on October 7th. From Digital Storytelling, I'm Robin McIntyre with help on this story from McGee Nall.